What is going on everybody? Good morning, it's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this morning's video, I just wanted to go over a couple of stocks and ETFs that I'm personally watching and looking to trade today on the 13th of March in 2019. But before we do hop into my Think or Swim platform, let's take a look here at the U.S. stock futures very quickly. We can see the futures are green right now. The SP SPX is up about 8 points, up about 0.3%. The NASDAQ is up about $28.50 right now. Let me quickly refresh this so we can see, okay, a little bit updated here, up about $26. And the Dow Jones is up nearly 80 points right now up about 0.3%. So the overall markets right now, the futures with about 30 minutes to open, they're up about 03 to 0.4%. So let's just talk about what stocks are doing well this morning. And I'm sure a lot of you guys already know, you know, if you guys do pre-market analysis, if you look at charts in the morning, a lot of the marijuana, the cannabis stocks are doing very well this morning. And they are on the top of my radar today for potential day trade so ACB Aurora cannabis guys this one's doing very well right now and we're seeing a potential breakout pattern in Aurora cannabis we were trading within this horizontal channel a couple of weeks ago a weeks ago really for the past couple of months we've been trading within you know, six eighty nine, roughly seven dollars, up to about eight dollars and thirty cents. And I talked about in the past couple of videos, really the the videos that I covered ACB. I don't really remember exactly what videos they were, but I did talk about this level here at about eight twenty. If we were to break that level, that's going to be a breakout bullish pattern to the upside, where we could potentially test you know nine dollars, ten dollars, potentially even get back to the eleven twelve dollar range. Range, you know, if we do end up pushing that far, but let's take it step by step here. The fact that we did break this level, you know, the next spot we're going to be looking to head to is roughly at about nine dollars, which does look like we ended up topping off there this morning. And if we look here at about the on the one day, one hour, we notice we did top off at nine dollars, right? That's the uh, you know, old support, which is now a new resistance since we broke below it. And this is where I'm going to be looking for a potential gap fill. So let's say it looks like we're pulling down right now. Let's say we pull down to about 850. This is ideally what I actually want to happen. This could potentially be a nice little entry for a morning runner or really for a swing trade over the next couple of days back up to the resistance at about nine dollars. But the whole thing I'm watching for here with ACB guys is I want to make sure it does end up holding the 850 level as a new support. I really don't want to see it break back down into this channel because that's going to be really a break of pattern to the downside. So I do want to see it, you know, maintain the 850 level, the 860 level, you know, roughly where we are right now and for it to continue to push up to $9 and ideally even higher for me to trade it. So Cron is another marijuana stock, ticker symbol CRON. This one's doing pretty well this this morning as well and it's opening up my eyes for a potential day slash swing trade so we can see it close at about 2133 yesterday popped up all the way to twenty two dollars and thirty three cents popped nearly a dollar overnight really and now we're pulling back back into the $21 range. So this is opening up a nice little margin of profit. So let's say we do end up doing something like this. You know, we're pulling down into market open and then we slowly start to see it pop up. This could be a nice entry point for a potential runner back up to the pre-market highs at about 2.4% margin of profit. And another thing I want to point out here on Cron on a, on a longer term basis is that we pulled down to about $20.50 a couple of days ago. We all realized that and we noticed that is a higher low from the previous, which means this one's maintaining its uptrend. And the fact that we're pushing up now from that little trend line bounce that we see and we're breaking the EMA and the 50 SMA, this is honestly a very good sign that Cron 
is looking to maintain the uptrend, continue to push up, and break back into the levels of 22, 23, possibly even 24 dollars. So I'm honestly watching Kron here as a potential swing trade. I do see a lot, a lot of potential there in terms of Kron. And let's take a look at CGC. Let me see if this one's doing well this morning. I don't really know because because I actually haven't looked at it. Unlike Kron and ACB, um, you know this one's up, uh, you know as well. Well, from 46.75 up to about 47.75 but the thing I don't like about CGC right now guys is this little wedge pattern that we're in I know it's not looking too uh <laughs> it's not looking too uh, neat here these drawings are looking a little bit confusing but we do notice that Really, I want to just focus and, you know, notice and focus on this top portion rather than the bottom, right? We notice, okay, it is a little bit of a wedge here, but I want to notice or really just wait for a break out of this resistance here of the lower highs that we've been seeing over the past couple of weeks. Due to that being a very bullish pattern that we could potentially end up testing previous levels if we do end up breaking that, right? If we break this level, you know, we'll, we'll easily probably get, uh, you know, back into the $50 level. That will be the next resistance we want to break. Really, the next resistance is going to be at about $48. And let's say we break the resistance of this, uh, you know, downwards trending um, trend line here. We break that. The next spot we're going to need to break is about $48, and the next spot after that, about $49.50 to $50. And from there, guys, we'll be able to test $51. So I'm waiting for that little pop out of here to potentially trade CGC. And another one I'm looking at today, guys, is UWT, which trades based upon crude oil. We're seeing a pretty bullish move this morning on crude oil. It's up about 84 cents right now, up about 1.45%. And we all know UWT is an inverse ETF that trades based upon crude oil. Whenever crude oil is going up, UWT is going up as well. And this is a level right now where we are at at crude oil where we could potentially see a breakout pattern and I'm sure you guys can guess it let's take a look a little bit closer here so we've been talking about the horizontal pattern crude oil has been trading in right the support at about $55 the resistance at about $57.50 we've been clearly trading in between there as we can see from these candlesticks and now with the bullish move we're seeing this morning up about 85 points we could be headed into really the $58 level for the first time in the matter of a couple of months here on crude oil's chart which we all know crude oil has been getting slaughtered or did get slaughtered and if this would like to go out it has been getting slaughtered right we see from $77 down to $42 we all know it's been getting slaughtered I believe you know that was one of the biggest drops in a 10-year period for crude oil. And from there, we've been really recovering nicely. And this is a level $57.50, $58, where we could potentially be pushing up to that next point of resistance, which in this case is going to be at around $60, $60-$61. So that's what I'm looking at, guys. Crude oil, if we do end up getting up there, UWT is going to be great today. And we can already see... It's trending up early today, up from about $15.66 .50, at the close, up to about $16.30 this morning, and we're pushing up hard. The bullish move is there. So that's really it for this morning's video, guys. Just a couple of stocks and ETFs that I'm watching, really the marijuana stocks and the crude oil. And actually, let's just talk about the gold futures real quickly while we're at it. We're noticing a little bullish move this morning in the gold futures as well. They're up about eight points this morning, up about 0.6%. So keep an eye, if we're going to continue to push up here, JNUG is going to end up being a great play this morning, which is an inverse ETF that's bullish when gold is going up. It goes up whenever gold's going up. So keep an eye on this one as well, because we are seeing really a continuation of the uptrend here in terms of gold. So I hope you guys enjoyed this morning's video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you're trading today. I would love to know if you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button. It really does support the channel growth and subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit that notification bell if you want to be updated every time that I do make a video. Good luck today guys. I'll catch you all in the discord group chat the free link down below. Peace out.